Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Uh, when the great Seymour Cassell died in 2019, he had 219 acting credits on his resume. A, a long career as one of our most reliable character actors. He was one of John Cassavetti's regulars, along with Jenna Rollins, Ben Gazzara, and Peter Falk. And he was just one of those guys whose presence alone could brighten up any movie or TV show. I can't even begin to pretend to have seen all or even most of them, but the performance that always stands out for me, the one that feels most like spending time with a dearly beloved old friend, albeit one who might be a little bit difficult sometimes, is Alexander Rockwell's delightful 1992 film, In the Soup. You know what we got? We got a dog that can read your mind. In the Soup was marvelous when it came out in 1992, but it's even more joyful and wonderful now because it not only still works, it's now an amazing time capsule of the New York indie filmmaking scene in the early 90s. Alexander Rockwell was in the thick of that scene, and he and his wife, Jennifer Beals, uh, brought in a whole bunch of their friends to make this movie. Steve Buscemi, Will Patton, Jim Jarmusch, Debbie Mazur, uh, legendary New York character actor and character Rockets Red Glare, and a young Sam Rockwell, no relation, all coalesce into a truly delightful grainy black and white soup song of creative ambition and dreams and joy. But at the center of all of it, the great Seymour Cassell. He's a warm, funny, occasionally terrifying, wildly dishonest and always lovable character who comes to Steve Buscemi, who's playing a wannabe filmmaker who's looking for financing for his, of course, 500-page screenplay, that's him reading it there, <laughs> to, to Cassell, and tells him he'll bankroll his film, and hilarity ensues. The movie won the Grand Jury Prize at Sundance in 1992 up against some incredible competition like Reservoir Dogs, uh, our fellow guru Cat Shea's Poison Ivy, and Alison Anders' masterpiece Gas Food Lodging. But it also ran to some bad luck. The company that ended up distributing it went out of business shortly after it came out, and the original print was badly damaged, so it was impossible to see anywhere for a very long time. Thankfully, a little while ago, there was a Kickstarter campaign to restore it, and now it's back in all of its black and white glory. Rockwell went on to do uh, one of the shorts in four rooms, of course, and has drifted in and out of filmmaking to teach, drifted back into it over the years. Uh, his work is always worth checking out, but this is the one that I find the most compelling because at least it takes me back to a wonderful time and place that I was never actually at in the first place. It would make a great double feature with Tom DeSillo's wonderful uh, Living in Oblivion, also starring Steve Buscemi in what could be the same character from this film, only a few years older and now a professional director. <laughs>